Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be beating Five Nights at Freddy's 1, the first like game. Uh, we're going to be beating Night 6. Uh, sorry if you hear any noise outside, uh, my neighbors are having a party and I wasn't invited so let's just keep on going. Uh, not, not in any sad way, it's not actually my neighbors, it's a different building. <laughs> so let's get started straight into this. Uh, I was looking up strategies about how to properly beat uh, this night and because I, I was getting so frustrated, I did like hundreds of strategies. And so once they start moving into the hallways is when we're going to be doing a different strategy which is light camera check, light camera check. Because basically what I found out was that the AI of uh, Freddy and of Freddy and what's its face Foxy can't actually attack us if the camera goes up every three seconds I think it was. So as long as we keep this pace they shouldn't at all move. It's just about executing this right. It's just checking the light every time. And they said that this is the best way to actually beat the game and beat the sixth night. Just keep on checking and every now and then checking on Foxy, making sure that his position didn't move just because that is part of the, of the strategy. Once Freddy actually moves, if he is able to move, then we're just going to do the same strategy that I've been doing every other night. Uh, so this is going to be a way shorter video of me just beating the game. It's all about just like it's, it's a consistency rhythm. consistency rhythm to try to keep these two animatronics in their place if they move we're dead well, not exactly but if they do move then the strategy gets a bit tougher to actually complete and like I've said in previous videos uh, Foxy and Freddy are designed to be seen by the camera and that's like literally like the only reason why they they move versus why they might not. I keep on misclicking sometimes just because it's so nerve wracking to maybe actually beat it. So if you're looking to beat the Five Nights at Freddy's and just this is the best strategy I could find. It's the most user friendly strategy. Just really just listening into what these animatronics are doing to like protect yourself from them, like from the doors. And then once you figure out the rhythm, then you kind of just like do it automatically. Like I said, I do have to check on Foxy in a bit. You see, they haven't moved because it's, it's against their AI to move. So yes, I know that this is like not the right way to do it, but I will be releasing a montage of every time, well not every time, but of times that I have failed and times where like my webcam has disconnected from the sheer amount of time that we, that I spent just recording that video. Yeah, 
yeah, like uh, th this is definitely the best way to do it because you're not wasting unnecessary power just with Foxy and stuff like that. And I was right that he does steal your power and it becomes exponential. So if Foxy steals your, if Foxy attacks once, he steals like a 1% of your power. If Foxy attacks twice, the percentage just gets higher and so As long as we just keep on doing this and just keep on listening to the cues, we should make it to every door on time and not get attacked, therefore beating this knight. This is not the strategy to go with the 2020-20 knight because they are attacking a lot faster. So if I do do the 2020 knight, I'm gonna have to, again, do some research, try to find a strategy like this one to be able to beat the game. Because like I'm saying, I try to beat it organically and it was basically this, but I was letting, uh, I was letting Freddy actually get close. And that's not what you wanna do in this game. Yo, Freddy, don't look at me, bro. Check on Foxy. I spent all day just editing and recording these videos and just trying to beat it. Like, as you can tell from, like, if I do release uh, the footage of me trying to be of uh, this night, if you, if I release the footage, then you guys will definitely see my desperation to beat this night and just how difficult it has been. And like, even if I don't release it with face cam, it's just it was just so annoying and so bad. Just to just to do it because I get I get to the part where the lights go off every single time. Well, not even every single time. Sometimes like they attack me and they jam the lights, even though I did everything right. beat this then we go on to the next five nights at freddy's game five nights at freddy's 2 i really love that game that one was one of my favorites my favorite was this one and number four to attack a lot more. So this is basically a strategy for I think every other night <laughs> except the except the 202020 just because Freddy will be attacking and this whole opening and closing this thing doesn't actually work against him once he's like at 20, 20, 20. Okay, so Fox is starting to peak. Let's go. Okay. We got this. Okay, so now uh, we got 50 cents more for overtime. That's great. I'm not even gonna calculate how much that overtime is. A custom night 
where basically we can just generate the AI level. So we can make Freddy go either to zero or to 20, which is why it's called the, the, the 420 night, uh, which is just everything maxed out to four, but I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that today just because of the sheer difficulty of what that is. And I don't think that that means full completion of the game, although it is in, in a way. Uh, that that's just pure RNG and it's pure luck to see if we actually get that. But so we finished Five Nights at Freddy's today, Five Nights at Freddy's one. Uh, tomorrow we will be moving on to Five Nights at Freddy's two. I'm very excited to play that one. Uh, like I said, I really like the mechanics of it. It's gonna be a lot harder just because of the, the, the various different mechanics that the game has. So I'm very excited to play. I'm very excited to show all of you that. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Uh, I'll, I'll look into the, the montage of the different times that I died and the different, like all of the frustration that I went through. It has been, today it's been a very long day of just playing Five Nights at Freddy's and just editing videos. <laughs> But I have enjoyed it, and I have enjoyed Five Nights at Freddy's 1. It was great to revisit this game. I really love it. Thank you, everyone, for watching this video. I've really enjoyed making it. Uh, and I really enjoyed showing you guys the strategy of how to beat Five Nights at Freddy's 1 full completion. If you have enjoyed, hit, this, hit the like button. If you have enjoyed these videos, consider hitting the subscribe button. If you're not convinced, I'm going to be making more of these Five Nights at Freddy's videos. So just... Uh, have a look out just for these types of games. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>